Mr. Chairman, I rise in opposition to this bill. It's, first of all, it's improperly titled. It isn't an Energy Policy Act at all. It's the delay bill. Now, why is it the delay bill? Well, it's a bill that delays energy self-sufficiency by enacting tax breaks and policies that benefit the oil and gas industry and ignores renewable alternatives. It delays protecting the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It delays holding the makers of MTBE accountable for destroying drinking water. It delays the end of $8 billion in special interest tax breaks. It delays fishery restoration by giving dam owners free reign. It delays protecting our children who suffer more and more from asthma as this bill delays enactment of stricter smog regulations. It delays protecting our shorelines from oil and gas development. It delays cleaner air and lower gas prices by mandating an agricultural welfare program called ethanol. It delays the end of corporate welfare for the likes of Enron and Home Depot. It delays the ability of states to enact tougher energy efficiency laws. I could keep going, Madam Chairman, but I don't want to delay the proceedings any further. The bill was written by and for the oil and gas industry with the involvement of a small band of powerful members of Congress. Its very existence raises questions of ethical behavior. But as we know, our Ethics Committee is unable to meet to consider such transgressions because of delay by my colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle, which delay Ethics Committee action against one of their own. The purpose is not to enact a sane energy policy for our country at all. In fact, as I've outlined above, it delays that very possibility. It's an anti-environment, anti-consumer, anti-energy self-sufficiency, an irresponsible corporate welfare bill. Rather than considering this legislation, we should be considering why delay continues to rule the House of Representatives.